bearing pressure analysis. Bearing pressure is referring to the stress given by the soil as a reaction to the load acting on the retaining wall. A typical retaining wall is subjected to a series of load which eventually leads to a equivalent vertical load and rotational moment. Due to this rotational moment, the stress redistributes along its base. The effects of the moment on the bearing pressure is given in this figure. This represents the base of a retaining wall. When the retaining wall is subjected to vertical load only, stress are developed within the soil to counteract the vertical load. And this stress is known as the bearing pressure. It is assumed that the stress are equally distributed within the contact surface area between the base and the soil. Therefore, the bearing pressure is calculated by dividing the vertical load with the total contact surface area of the soil. However, when there is a moment acting on the retaining wall, the stress redistributed. The original conditions of stress is this, which is equals to N per A. Due to the moment, there will be one side with a higher stress while the other side with a lower stress. The differences in terms of the stresses is represented by the MY per I. Therefore, the stress here it will be equals to N per A plus MY per I while the stress on this side is represented by N per A minus MY per I. For stability, the retaining wall must not undergo settlement. To ensure that, the bearing pressure acting on the retaining wall must be less than the bearing capacity of the soil. In another word, the bearing capacity is checked against the largest bearing stress here to ensure it is greater than the bearing stress acting on the retaining wall. The equations to calculate the bearing stress is given here. The N here represents the total vertical load acting on the retaining wall. The A here is the effective contact surface area between the wall base and the soil. As the retaining wall is designed similar to a slab, the B here is taken as 1 meter as a unit width. The resultant moment is determined by the vertical load multiply the eccentricity. The moment is referring to the rotational point at the center of the base. Therefore, the Y here is represented by the half of the base. The second moment of inertia is obtained based on the typical equations of second moment of inertia. As rotation is expected to be in this axis, the second moment of inertia it will be B times D power 3 divided by 12. With that, you are able to obtain the bearing pressure acting on the base of the retaining wall and it must not be greater than the bearing capacity of the soil. It is noted that the rotational point for determining the bearing pressure is here. It is different from the rotational point that you use to determine the overturning of the retaining wall. 
The rotational moment for overturning the retaining wall is referring to the toe here.